In this video we will tell you all about tear stains on your Maltese dog. Why do they appear, what can you do to get rid of them and most important, what should you do to avoid these tear stains from developing in the future. If you don't want to miss this, including our selection of the Maltese dog of the day, please watch till the end, like this video and learn all the ins and outs about this issue. For now, let's start explaining a bit about dog tears. In general, tears are essential to the eye health because they provide the eye with nutrition, aid in vision and protect the surface of the eye. Dogs, like humans, have tear ducts that assist keep their eyes healthy and functional. Unlike humans, who have tear ducts that drive tears outward, dogs' tear ducts drain the liquid back into the throat and nose. Tears may leak externally if your dog's tear ducts are obstructed, similar to how humans cry. Tear stains form beneath a dog's eyes and are dark brown or reddish in color and can occur on any dog breed. The stains can be accompanied with discharge as well. The reddish spot is actually caused by the epiphora pigment that builds up under the eye and can damage the hair because it is quite acidic. In most cases, most important is to keep the eyes as dry as possible and cleaning the eyes every day. Later in this video we will tell you more about the things you can do yourself to avoid these tear stains to appear on your dog. The cause of tear stains can be related to many different problems including health issues. It could be a food allergy or improper nutrition that could definitely be a big cause. It appeared in some cases that dogs who switched to a high-quality grain-free diet suffered less from tear stains after that change of food. Corn, wheat and other grains used as fillers in low-quality foods don't guarantee long-term health and can trigger allergic reactions, leading to excessive tearing and other issues. It is also said that the quality of water could develop tear stains on your dog. Dog owners who traveled with their dogs without their regular bottled water from home stated that it was shown that their dogs stained quickly in response to excess minerals. You can always try to use only purified, distilled, or reverse osmosis water in order to test how this will turn out for your Maltese. Another possible cause could be that the dog may start teething or even have an ear infection that can cause tear stains. Tear stains can also be caused by genetic problems, from ingrown eyelashes to inverted eyelids, as well as shallow eye sockets or breeds with a very short nose. The excessive production of tears can be the result of eye irritation or because the eyes cannot drain the tears as a result of narrow drainage holes near the eye. To rule out any underlying health concerns, we always recommend that you consult your veterinarian and potentially a veterinary ophthalmologist if your normally white-faced dog gets aggressive staining seemingly out of nowhere. This way you will be able to find out if there are any underlying health issues that need to be treated. Later in this video we will give you some tips that might work for you and your dog to get rid of the tear stains and try to get that shiny white face back. Now, let's go to our favorite part, the Maltese dog of the day. Today we have chosen not one but three sibling Maltese, Carol Ann, Jim Bob and Lilibet from the UK. Look how cute these three are. They were born in November 2020, they live with their Maltese parents George and Victoria in Wales. What an adorable Maltese family! Do you also want your Maltese dog to be featured on our next video? Then first, subscribe and second, write a comment about your Maltese in the comment section below. We will then contact you and maybe we will see your dog next time on this channel as Maltese Dog of the Day. Now, let's move on to some tips about how to get rid of Maltese tear stains. To whiten the eyes of your Maltese and eliminate tear stains, make sure the general hygiene is maintained. Remove any visible buildup on a regular basis, and keep any foreign objects away from the eye area. The nasolacrimal duct can be irritated and obstructed by dust or dirt for example. Maltese dogs frequently have lengthy bangs or hair fringes that might fall over their eyes. Their eyes may become irritated and moisten more than usual as a result of this long hair. Better to either have their hair cut on a regular basis or keep it in a ponytail to keep it out of their eyes. If your Maltese has already developed tear stains, the following ways will help you get rid of them. Distilled water, this is water that has been purified of pollutants and minerals, making it perfect for cleaning Maltese eyes. Gently wipe the spots with this water on a clean piece of gauze. Bottled water may be an acceptable substitute, but be sure to check the type beforehand. 
Add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar to your dog's water bottle. As a result, the tears become more acidic, which helps to prevent fungi and bacteria from growing in the tear duct and darkening it. Chamomile is a natural lightening agent. To progressively remove the brown color from around the eye, bathe your dog's tear duct with gauze soaked in cold chamomile infusion every day. Rose water, like chamomile, is a natural lightener, and we can use a soft gauze soaked in rose water to wash our dog's tear stains every day to clarify them. Whitening products, you can find a variety of cleaners designed exclusively to whiten a dog's tear duct in pet stools. However, opinions are divided about the effect of these products. What can work very well for one Maltese has no effect at all for another one, according to the experiences of users. At last, there are food supplements on the market containing antibiotics. These can only be given by a veterinarian. It's only for dogs who have severe tear staining issues. If you haven't been told otherwise by a vet, don't use it. What not to do when cleaning the eyes of a Maltese dog. As you may have noticed, the various methods mentioned earlier are gentle and non-abrasive. Although you should avoid getting chamomile or rose water in your dog's eyes, these are natural products that shouldn't irritate them too much. Some dog owners, on the other hand, may go too far in their attempts to whiten their Maltese's eyes by using inappropriate substances. You should never. Use irritants, although a kitchen spray or surface cleaner might be effective in getting rid of bacteria, it is not safe to use near a dog's eye. As careful as we might be, we can easily get some into the eye of the dog. Even if we don't put it close to the eye, the moisture can help it travel. They can also harm the dog's skin and cause dermatitis. Dye the hair, the only way you can get rid of tear stains is to keep the area around the eyes clean. You cannot try to dye the darkened hair with products as this can be very dangerous. If any were to get into the dog's eyes it can cause blindness. Overgroom, it is important your Maltese has some hair around their eyes. It helps to keep them healthy. You can trim some of the dog's hair, but don't overdo it. Especially don't shave the hair around the eyes. Please remember, in the majority of cases the stains on a Maltese dog's eyes will not cause any problems. If you have already tried the tips mentioned in this video, but your dog still has some discoloration, it is perfectly normal. You may end up causing the dog harm if you try to get a perfectly white eye area. Do you love Maltese dogs as well? Then be sure to subscribe to our channel and leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. So, which of the mentioned tips and tricks about tear stains will be most helpful for you? Or, did you try to get rid of the stains before and it did not work out? Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.